Final Fantasy Legend 3 on the original Game Boy. And yes, I have it boxed. So this is actually the third game in the Saga series. I reviewed Final Fantasy Legend 2, which is the second game in the Saga series, earlier on this channel, and I, I have to say I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Luckily, this game does away with a lot of the strange leveling up mechanics and weapon breaking mechanics from the game and replaces them with like the standard mechanics you would expect in a JRPG. Breaking the norm of the time, this has a sci-fi setting. And you have to jump from the past back to the present and to the future to advance this like freaking 30 hour long story. Like it's really long for a portable JRPG. So you can play as either a human or a mutant. And humans level up using like XP while mutants level up from, I guess, using their skills. You can also be a robot or a monster. And these are all like the classes, quote unquote. Uh, and they're, they're, they're standard in the Saga series. I think they've all had that of the three I've played. And this is the, I've played all three of the Final Fantasy Legend games now. And the way they work, these classes, and the way they level up and stuff, it, it's kind of counterintuitive. And if you don't read the manual about how they're going to work, you're going to be very, very confused. I don't have the manual. Mine's just boxed. But I did look it up on GameFAQs, and I was like, yeah, I wouldn't have figured that out. I did kind of remember how it worked from Saga 2, but not enough to actually do anything worthwhile. But outside of those like weird leveling up mechanics, this is just like a standard 8-bit RPG. It, it, it's what you would expect. The graphics are nice, but they look like pretty much any other 8-bit RPG. A lot of people claim they're really good, but they, they just look normal to me. I mean, <laughs> it, it's a Game Boy game. The music's pretty decent, and it's one of the standout features of the game. I really liked it a lot. It's super catchy, and I believe the music in Final Fantasy Legend 2 was pretty catchy as well, so whoever the composer was on those kind of knocked it out of the park for sure. I really like how they toned down all the leveling up nonsense from the second game this time around. You just level up like normal. You just gain XP and, you know, you get stronger over time. In the second game, it was done at like random intervals and you might gain five levels in ten minutes or it might take you three hours to level up once. It was awful and really frustrating. And when you would set aside like an hour to grind, you never knew how much progress you would make. Luckily, that doesn't happen here and everything just goes smoothly. But I freaking hate how the overworld map is like so maze-like. You can fly from these different islands and jump to multiple time points and travel under the sea. And it gives too many options for exploration, which I really don't like. I know some people love that. Not me. I don't want to do it. I want more of a direct route, or at least in a map I can reference. There's also a really high encounter rate in this and a pretty sturdy difficulty I would describe. And it makes the game feel like kind of overly grindy and boring at times. You have to jump to different time points to like solve these puzzles. There'll be like a tree blocking your way. So you have to like go back to where you were and travel back in time to the tree when it's a sapling and like set it on fire so that when you travel back to the future, it's dead and you can pass through that mountain pass or whatever you're doing. And you know, I really don't like having to travel back. Like you're, you spend all this time traversing this map to get where you're trying to go and then you're blocked and then you have to like retraverse all this crap you went through to go back in time and then like traverse it back to the same location to do the thing then traverse all the way back travel back to the future and then traverse all the way to it it's like five trips to do one thing and i felt like i was doing that all the time and that's probably why this freaking game takes 30 hours to beat <laughs> like it's just so that crap's so bloated they should have given you like some sort of time machine on your person so you could just teleport back in time right at that exact location. That would have made more sense and would have been more fun. Like I said, I've played all the Final Fantasy Legend games now on the Game Boy and I didn't really like or honestly even finish any of them. <laughs> I got tired of all of them. While this one's more of a standard RPG than the second entry, I found it pretty tedious, like I said, and it basically put me to sleep every time I tried to play it. I'm glad to be done with it and honestly I'm glad to be done with the Final Fantasy Legend series. I like Final Fantasy a lot. I'm a big fan of that series, but this isn't Final Fantasy. This is the Saga series. So I'm really glad to be done with that. And no, I'm not gonna be buying the Saga collection on the Switch. <laughs> so like I said, I put about five or six hours into this and I was just bored of it. I probably in that five or six hours spent three and a half of it grinding. That's, that's bad right at the beginning of the game. And most of that was just wandering around and getting into combat counters. I feel like I only finished the first three dungeons or so in the game. So, I didn't have it in me to continue it, guys. Final Fantasy Legend 3 on the Game Boy is like a 6 out of 10. It's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, 
is decent enough if you have the patience for that sort of thing. But me in this modern day, I just don't have it anymore. I've, I've played hundreds of RPGs and this one just didn't do it for me. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. But if you love that sort of stuff, from what everybody says, this is a really good one to try. So maybe you should try it out. You don't have to listen to me. You should, you don't have to. 